Now, take another example. In this example, I have taken distance time graph. See here, this is x axis, this is y axis. Here, I am taking time t and here this is origin and here we have taken distance. Now, if you have taken three graphs like this, like one is like this, this we can refer as graph A, another is like this graph B, another we can take here graph C. If you see these three graphs, here all these three graphs are a straight line, all these three are showing here uniform motion, that means uniform speed. Now, you have to tell which object has greater speed. Just by knowing the slope of the graph, we can tell which object is moving with the greater speed. So, see here there are three graphs 1, 2 and 3. In the graph only it is visible, graph C has got highest slope. So, the object for which graph C is representing that has greater speed. So, just by seeing the slopes, we can tell which object has greater speed, which object has slow speed. Now, take another example. Here, if we take suppose distance time graph is like this, here x axis, here is y axis, there is distance, there is time, this is O and the graph is like this. And in that case, we can take graph is like this, this is A and this is B. Here again, there are two objects, one for one object graph is A, for another ob object graph is B. Now, out of these two, which one has got greater speed? Obviously, graph B has got greater speed because it has greater slope. You know, we can check slope just by seeing the angle. If you draw the angle with the x axis here this and here this you will get find this angle is greater than this. So, just by seeing the angle you can tell which object has got greater speed. Now, in all these examples whatever I am discussing, just by seeing the graph you have to tell which object has got greater speed, which object has got slower speed. There are many examples related to this in related to these graphs in the book, you can do them and whatever the doubts are there you can discuss, but see here try to understand each and every concept very carefully and give proper time to each and every point. Now, by this way, this chapter motion is over. Now, we will start next chapter that is force.